we start talking about how God takes drama in our life and writes a testimony out of it. God takes the difficult things we've been involved in and the difficult things that we're up against and to write a testimony out of it. You know, there might be elements of this whole series that are lighthearted, but how many of you guys know sometimes tragedy that happens to people, you know, it's not lighthearted. It's not easy to go through. We see this with Mephibosheth's life. We see this with what went on. This verse in 2 Samuel 4, 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. Can you go there real quick? Um, 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4. In one solid verse, it gives you so much information about what happened to Mephibosheth. And actually what happened with him was that God was allowing him to see his life be written out in a lot of really difficult ways, actually. His life was being written out um, with some situations that were extremely difficult. And 2 Samuel 4, verse 4, really shows us what's happening here. Look at what it says in verse 4. Jonathan, we said that it was his father. Jonathan, son of Saul, that was the grandfather, had a son who was lame in both feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. Now look up here for a second. Their land was under siege. Their land was being attacked and there was a challenge with what was happening with their reign as rulers over that land. So much so that there was um, a fear for their own lives. And so that last part or that part of that verse right there, he was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. The news about Saul and Jonathan is that they were killed. And this is interesting because you know how things work with kingdoms. You go straight down the lineage for things to be um, set in order for royalty to continue happening. And when the news about this happened, a nurse, can you imagine his nanny? A nurse picked him up and fled. But as she hurried to leave, he fell and became crippled. Can you imagine all this going on right now? The, 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 the messenger comes and says, hey, listen, this, this, it's all falling apart. The kingdom's falling apart. Saul and Jonathan were out fighting, and they were both slain in battle, and it's all over. And I, and I wonder what went through that nurse. Was there a protocol that she had to follow of getting the remainder kids? A five-year-old can't go right to the throne. Maybe her thought process was, I'll get him and I'll run and I'll get out of town and we'll get him to a place that's safe. You know, the intentions might have actually been all right. The Bible says that she dropped him. This woman, in her haste, took Mephibosheth and maybe with, um, maybe with really great intentions... He slipped, she slipped, and she dropped him. And his life story starts getting written on the front of his card. Can you imagine what it means at five years old to be dropped and be dropped in such a way that the damage happens so bad that his legs are no longer um, the the legs of a normal five-year-old boy playing on the playground. Can't run around and everything. You know, basically at the prime of his childhood, he's dropped in the injury that happens at that moment. Her intentions might have been right, but the fact is, is his caretaker, the one he trusted, the one that he was needing to depend on for his safety, dropped him. She dropped him. It forever changed his life. I can only imagine how his life forever changed. Seeing all the rest of the things he was going to do, the things he was, the way he was playing, the way that other kids played and everything. But he was dropped. I look at, you know, a generation of teenagers sometimes who have been dropped. Kind of neglected by, neglected by the people who are supposed to be the caretakers. Or, or you watch when someone gets offended or when someone's got drama with their parents. And it, man, that should be the safe place. That should be the place that I'm most taken care of. That should be the place that I really have as my one bastion of hope. But oftentimes they're dropped by those very people. And it really cost a lot for him to be dropped. When he was dropped... 
it, it crippled him. Mephibosheth became crippled. It's a real issue at this point. Life would forever be different. He was dropped, he was crippled, and they ran. There wasn't a situation where he could uh, uh, have, have a doctor square them all away, or he was, he, he just was, he was, he was run out of town, never to run like the other kids. And the third one is this. He was dropped, he was crippled, and then he was hidden away. Do you know that's what Mephibosheth means? To hide away. You know, it's interesting that the very definition of his name was going to be what writes his life story. The very, defini- the very definition of his name was going to be how he was defined. And it often happens when people have a front of their sign. And you've seen some of these signs that are all around. And, and people, they say, you know, I, I've become defined by this now. I was once this and it seems like I'm always going to be this. Or I was once that and it seems like the front of my board is, is totally just what my lot in life is. And Mephibosheth now, uh, having been dropped and the result was being crippled and the fact that he was taken and hidden away, uh, all of a sudden everything about his world changed. And I won't go into too much detail about it, but I even got a phone call last night and it was a late phone call where somebody that's very dear to me told me a story. And he said, Pastor Aaron, I feel like my world is falling apart. And I said, man, it's so interesting. Tomorrow I'm starting a series called How to Deal with Drama. And as I was talking with this guy and as I was connecting with him and just listening, and sometimes listening is the best thing, and I'm I'm listening to him, I'm thinking, man, he's been dropped, he's been crippled, he's been hidden away for his own story. And it was hard because he's going, my life was great in February. I don't know what happened all of a sudden since then in the last 90 days. It's just all these things. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, if he only knew. The the enemy's trying to define him by these challenges that are happening right now. Mephibosheth was hidden away. It's what his name even means. He was orphaned and abandoned instantaneously. You know... Again, if the intentions of the caregiver were good, he might have liked her. She gives him cookies and stuff. And in her good good will, she runs with him and and, and falls. And and I wonder what he thought after that. I wonder if she felt guilty after that. I wonder if if in her haste that she saw the damage that happened. I, I wonder what the relationship then was. Because, you know, the Bible says then that she took him. And I wonder if that meant for the next 20 or 25 years, did that same caregiver, um, did she shadow him? Did she wheel him to the window to look outside? Did she take him out into the yard and lay him on the mat to be able to be out, outdoors? I wonder if that same caregiver uh, connected with him the rest of his life. If she did, the relationship is an interesting dynamic. You know, a lot of drama that happens in people's lives happens early in life. But life tends to keep on going with interactions with the same people that might have even brought the hurt. Might have even, you might have to see them, you might have to connect with them, you might have to interact with them, and those make for some, sometimes some really unique situations. How do I speak? Do I speak freely? Do I have to guard what I say? How will they speak? Will they speak freely or will they guard what they say? Will we ever talk about being dropped? Will we ever talk about what's crippled me? Will we ever talk about what it take, what's made my life the way my life is right now? Will we? And those relationships are important. I, I call those the tiptoe relationships. Anybody ever experienced at some point in your life some tiptoe relationships where you needed to tiptoe around certain situations? Those are hard. Those are very hard. But she hid him away. 